Brother Sister Mella, what's going on, Brother Wisdom? Um, there's a lot going on in the spirit world right now. And, you know, we have travelers. We have travelers who travel in and out of portals. These are Anunnaki brothers. They are fighting for us on, if not fighting for us, they're fighting for the planet. We've got to fight for us. But they are sending us messages everywhere. The message that I'm receiving is that we've got to get ready for war. We've got to get ready for war. This is going to be our only answer. Yes, we've marched. We protested. We've prayed. We bowed down. We gave our life. We submitted. We, you know, submerged. We even turned on our own people to try to make these beings happy. But they're not happy because we're still alive. We got to get ready for war. War is the only answer. There's no other answer. There's no other way. Yeah, we got Sky Brothers. They're fighting to save the sky, to keep the sky clean. They're fighting to protect the earth, but we're going to have to pick up. All of us we have to set aside Islam and Christianity jobs, political arenas, and then set aside the sports arenas and the and the uh, the television arena, the the all the, these different arenas that we are caught up in, and we're gonna have to get down and dirty, just like these beings, these so-called white people. They told you in the Bible who they are, the Israelites. And they said, oh, and they told you in this book, the Bible, somebody, oh, our God said that if we want this land, then we can go and destroy these people and kill up everybody and take the land because our God gave us. This is what they're, they're doing. And this is what they've done. And I know they're watching me. And I tell them over and over again, you can't do nothing to me. It's time for war on every level. However you want to say it, however you, it's going to be, it's time for war. All these illusions that are around us, they created this law. Tell me something about the law. If you're hungry, can the law feed you? If you're naked, can the law clothe you? If you need protection, can the law just pop up anywhere and protect you? Can the law uh, uh, give you comfort when someone dies? No. The same thing with religion. Can religion feed you when you're hungry and you need food? Can religion put clothes on you? Can religion... Uh, um, um, make sure that that you're protected no can religion heal your body when you're sick can the law heal your body when you're sick you see what I'm saying my brothers and sisters you see what I'm saying can the law have, make you have, have a happy family and a happy life can religion make you have a happy family and a happy life no, they're not real. But nature can do all of this. Nature can feed you. Nature can clothe you. Nature can give you comfort. And who is nature? We are nature. We clothe each other. We feed each other. We give each other comfort. We show each other love. We are nature. These things they created are not natural. Money can't even clothe you. Money can't keep you alive. If you're dying, can money give you life? No. Can money feed you? 
if you're somewhere out in the middle of a desert and you have no food, but you got a pocket full of money, can that money feed you? No. When you're in a state of depression, can that money give you a hug and tell you everything's going to be all right? No. And we, 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 you know, can money heal you? You're in a place of sickness and, 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 and there are no doctors around and, and there are no hospitals. But you got a pocket full of money. Can that money heal your body? No. But you're in the area of nature and nature can heal you. When you're in that desert, you got a pocket full of money. Oh my goodness, there goes a, 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 a um, um, some vegetation somewhere. You know, you might find a coconut tree. That coconut will feed you. You're in the middle of that uh, of that forest, and you're feeling sick. Well, if you know the right leaves or the or the right vegetation, you can uh, ingest those things, and they will heal your body. Money, the law, religion. I apply all these things to basketball, football, video games, <laughs> the media. Can these things do? They can't do anything for you. They're all illusions to keep you away from going into the state of mind where you say, I want to free myself and I want to free my people. I want to free my planet. War is the only answer. And we must get ourselves prepared for war. We must get ourselves prepared for war because it is coming. When you hear the brothers say, it's time for war, we're going out in the streets, we're about to do this shit. Be prepared, because we're going to do this thing together. And we're going to, and, and believe me, we have our young people who are fully awakened. <laughs> A couple brothers told some, some, some young brothers one day, say, come on, man, let's go, let's go uh, uh, blast out a few of these, you know, Cracker Jacks. Where they at, man? Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Our young people are all fully awakened. They're where they're ready. They're ready to put to bring this thing to an end. Especially our young men, our young warriors. They're ready to bring this thing to an end. They're tired of living under these conditions. They're tired of living under this law, this religion. They they're tired of looking at the same football game, the same basketball game. They want something different. They want real power. That's why when I see them, I introduce them to real power. Tell them how to connect to themselves. And every time they see me, they respect me. And looking for more knowledge. There's no more peace. The only way that we're going to have peace is we got to have war. That's the only way we're going to have peace. It's the only way. These beings are talking about, oh, they're going to war with each other, da 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 What about us? What about us? I talked about the Gullah Wars. I talked about all our powers that we have. I talked about all this stuff. But what about us? We never talk about. We need to make war happen against these beings who so relentlessly came and stole everything from us and caused us to fall. When do we say war time? That's the question I have. When do we say war time? We're looking at these beings go to war, but we're not doing anything. We're not making ourselves uh, 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 able for war. We're not making ourselves open to war. Got with this one brother on this Facebook, I mean on my on YouTube, you know, there's one brother who keep on talking all this Bible stuff and it's not taking you nowhere. It's not helping you to grow. 
War is the only answer. And we've got to take it to where it began. When these beings came to our planet. The settlers. And they came in their ships. <laughs> they came in their ships. And they came to infiltrate our planet in their ships and they fought us for our planet and they fought us for our planet and gave names of lands that we had already named they renamed our planet Earth when our planet is Kai. They called us black when they know we're Atlanteans and Sumerians and Lumerians and 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 um and uh, Olmecs and they, they called us black to destroy our identity so that we won't identi identify with our planet. They brought war to us. And the beginning of the invasion began with war. Now we have to do a cleansing and the cleansing is going to end with war. And we're going to cleanse the land of all of them. No mercy. From the swaddling to the elderly. No mercy. Whatsoever. Because they show no mercy on us. We have forgave them. We have made them friends and brought them in our homes and and what have they done separated us they want our men because they can't get pregnant by their men they want our women because they don't want our men to 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 impregnate our women to bring back uh, uh, um, uh, uh, ancestors and kings and rulers and when our men meet with their women, our men are not giving birth. Their, 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 their women are not giving birth to the to the to the to the right beings. Their women are giving birth to 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 uh, uh, um, hybrids. <laughs> it's time for war, my people. It's time for us to get ourselves together. It's time for us to get our minds together. We gotta stop. Being subservient to this so-called law system. This law is nothing but an illusion. The religion, the money, the jobs is all to keep us from fighting. It's all to keep us asleep. I got to get this money, so as long as I got this money, it's all right. And it's nothing but an illusion. The money illusion. So all it is is a big illusion. I got to get this money. It's all right. Everything will be good as soon as I get this money. And then when the money's gone, where are you? Nature. Nature is our only way. Nature is the only way that we can remove these beings. And we are nature. We are the way. We are the truth. We are the light. It's time that we awaken and see that there is no more time to sit back and accept these orc beings killing our people. It's time to get out in the streets and, and start doing what they did to us. They brought war to us, but we are bringing it to them even heavier. They sit up in their White House and in Pentagon and CIA and CDC and, you know, they sit up and think that they are so powerful. Yet, at the same exact time, their law cannot protect them from the energy of the, of, of the cosmos. Their law cannot protect them from the energy that comes from us. Their law cannot protect them. They think they're so powerful. 
They've given themselves power. They've given themselves authority. They've given themselves all of these different positions. They've given themselves this, and we have accepted this, and we can no longer accept their stupidity and think that we can keep going on and on in life. We cannot continue to accept their stupidity. We cannot. It is important that we prepare ourselves for the inevitable war that has got to happen in order to free our planet. There is no other way to go, my people. There is no other way to go. We can no longer back down. We can no longer sit back and say this or that or that or this. It's, it's, it's no more. It's over now. Now it's time for us to turn the table. And those of our people who don't want to turn, well, whatever happens to them happens. What of our people want to protect these beings because they think they're so beautiful and so nice? No, they all have an agenda. They all have an agenda and their agenda is to steal our energy. And they've been stealing too much energy. Remember, every time one of them goes, every time one of these orc beings die, the energy comes back to us. When the brother sounds the trumpet, when the brother sounds the trumpet, And say, prepare yourself for war. Get ready for war. Be ready always. Be minute men. We will have to drop everything we're doing. And get ready for battle. All of us. The time is coming. The time is coming. Time is up. Time. Location, south out. of Alaska, class, light magnitude, 4.2, 20 minutes ago. The planet is worried. If our planet is worried, then we should be worrying with our planet. If nature is worrying, we should be worrying with nature. Because we are nature. This is my message from now. Inevitability must take place. And we must go to war. We must go to war. We must go to war. And we must free our people, our planet, and ourselves from the illusion that would keep us in a loop of pain and despair. We cannot continue to keep going to the same job, doing the same thing over and over every week, all year. We cannot, cannot continue to keep going through the same uh, 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 holidays. We cannot continue to keep going through the same things over and over and over again. We can't continue to do this. This has to come to an end. It has to come to an end, and it must come to an end now. All right, guys. War is inevitable, but it's time for war. Prepare your hearts and souls, prepare your minds, prepare your spirits. Know that the day is coming where there will be no time to turn around and rethink. Because if you have to turn around and rethink, then there's no reason for you to even want to free yourself. Freedom is not a choice. Freedom is a guarantee. Freedom is something that we all are supposed to have. Just like the birds and the squirrels and the bees and the flies live freely. The animals of nature live freely. So shall we. These beings who call themselves the governing bodies are not indigenous to our planet. And they invaded our planet. 
and we must we must give back to them what they gave to us they're watching me I know I know there's no fear here and I'm not dying believe me I'm not dying so don't you know there's no Martin Luther King or or, or Malcolm X and none of this bullshit I'm not nobody's gonna take me out of none of that bullshit they can't touch me but I'm letting you know now guys my name is Seema I am Kamirian Arunaki I am a Khmer, Chimera I am from the planet Nibiru the land of Ladora And the time is now. I have many warriors beside me. And I have many warriors over me. The time is now, my people. The time is now. Stop searching for a way. Because you know the only way, there's only one way to end this. War. It's the only way. No other way to go. All power to the multi-sharker people of Melanin.